there's loads of squid about this year and I'm going to show you how easy it is to catch them on Chesil Beach. You don't have to go to piers, you don't have to go to Weymouth Pier, Pleasure Pier or the Stone Pier and be around 25 million other people. Uh, just find a gap on Chesil pretty much any time of the day um, and I'll show you how to catch a squid. This is it. You want to, you want to fluorocarbon trace with a jig. Pretty much use any jig, enough so you can cast it. A little starlight, nice fluorocarbon. This is a 25 pound fluorocarbon trace. And that's it. See if we can do it. See if we can get one on the first go. The idea is just to reel in really slow. Really slow, like slower than you would think. You're not spinning. Not like for mackerel. Oh, straight away. Literally first cast and we're into a squid. This is what I mean. This won't be edited, I'll show you. This was my very, very first cast and we are straight into a squid. I had a theory that they'd be around in the day as well, and I was proven right. Oh, there's a bit of ink. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The very first cast of me showing you in this tutorial of how to catch one, and we got one. It's really nice when stuff like that happens. It makes me look like I know what I'm doing. And that's it. Squid on Chesil Beach. Now, this is it. Which I'm just gonna. This is like perfect bait for this time of year, and there's loads of them about. So I'm gonna try and catch a few more, obviously. And uh, yeah, look at that. First cast. Look how beautiful the colours are on it as well. Um, I'll show you in the next part how to dispatch one. So once you caught your squid, and he's obviously still fresh, the kindest thing to do to this fella to dispatch him on his way. It's just a nice stiff chop just behind the neck area. And something like this. And he'll go nice and white. That's it. Just like that. There'll be a bit of movement, but he's gone white. He has passed away. That's it. Cast number two. That one was a bit deeper. All right, uh, sitting just off the beach. So when you do get a squid on, you'll get an occasional pullback, but just constantly wind or consistently wind. Don't try and heave it in and drop back because the hooks have to stay pressurized. The way these the, the jigs work, if you give them slack, they'll just come off. So you've got to keep it nice and consistent in how you're pulling it in. They're going to twist and turn and all sorts. This one's a bit of a better one, actually. Oh, look at that. Squid number two on Chesil Beach. And that's how they're hooked in. You can probably just see if it spins. They get stuck in their claspers and their tentacles. So if I gently push that back the other way, boom, comes straight out. That's why it's important to keep the pressure on and not um, sort of heave it in, like drop and wind, drop and wind, otherwise it'll just come off. Beautiful creatures, absolutely stunning. See if we can get it up a little bit up closer. You can see all the colors like pulsating. See on their, their back, probably a little bit better. They flash like red and white. So we'll just send him off to squid heaven. Hoi! That's it, he's done. That's how you catch a squid on Chesil Beach. I hope it's helped. Um, yeah, let's try and get some more. Haven't seen any action on the rods as of yet. We got one. Yeah, boy. That was a good one. It's a better size one. 
I know because of the weight from Fida. Remember, consistent wine. What was that? Did something just jump out of the water? Maybe it got caught on the camera. There we go. That's a big old kraken, that is. Look at the size of that. That's a big old, big old squidly. It's a decent size on that. Look at that. Squid fishing at its finest. Oh, on Chesil Beach. Send him off to squidly heaven. <laughs>